Morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing some more fishing. A little bit of bass fishing. This guy's skinny, we gotta get him back in the water. First fish of the day, guys. He's not big, but he'll do. Skinny little guy. This guy needs to do some eating. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a patch of weeds right over here. I ran that spinner bait right along the left edge of those weeds. And he took it. Let's see if he's got any friends there. Switched it up a little, guys. All black spinner bait with a white tail. Last two times in this pond, I got nothing, which I thought was odd. It's a beautiful day right now. It's about 9 a.m. 77 degrees. And I'm not working. Well, I see the farmer fixed his fence. That's some idiot knocked down on him. Let's go see what we got. Really small bass just followed my uh, spinnerbait in. I mean small. Here we go. That's a little bigger one. It's a little bigger. Yeah. Much bigger. There we go. Have a look at that. He's skinny though. He's skinny. I don't think you can see them, but I can see a lot of a lot of small bass, about one inch, two inches long, swimming along the shoreline here. All right, guys, I am throwing a black 
3 8 ounce spinnerbait with a willow leaf and an Indiana blade tipped with a white fluke or a silver fluke. I got a 7 foot medium heavy rod, just a Bass Pro Shop rod. But on it, I have the Abu Garcia Black Max bait casting reel. Uh, they are inexpensive and they work great. It's the reason I buy them. And no, that's not an endorsement for, well, I guess it is an endorsement for Abu Garcia. Even though they don't pay me. Abu Garcia, you listening? So we are slowly making our way around this pond with a uh, quick stop in the small pond there for that nice little bass. We got two on the board. We're trying to stretch it out a little bit. The sun is hot. I mean hot. I think it started out 77 degrees when I got here. It's already 84. And I've only been fishing for 25 minutes. I would really love to own something like this. But I am lucky enough to fish this, so. Guys, when you're rolling this spinner bait, it doesn't have to be fast. I got about seven feet of water out there. So I'm trying to let it get down near the bottom so I can just touch the top of the weeds. The bass are hiding in the bottom. They just ambush what comes by. So I guess a big bluegill chasing this thing in here. I might have to go bluegill fishing. So I just slow it down till I feel the top of the weeds. And hopefully there's somebody hiding down there. I just might have to do a bluegill video. There seem to be everywhere in here. Same with the perch. There's a lot of perch in here. There. They hit that as soon as they hit the water. A lot of perch in here. A lot of bluegill. He's still hitting it. It's got to be a bluegill. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, he didn't come in close enough. I was going to bring my kayak this morning. But unfortunately, the back of my truck is loaded with garbage. So, no room for a kayak. And the good thing about fishing a spinnerbait, is you can cover a lot of water in a short amount of time. Now, I'm walking, but... My plan today was to get up super early at the crack of dawn. And come and get some fish. My sorry ass wouldn't get out of bed this morning. This water is really clear. I'm just walking around looking for a weed bed. And just throwing around the weed beds. There we go. Oh yeah. Way out there. Come on. That's a little healthier. A little healthier. And he was hooked. All right. He's skinny. I'm going to guess they're all spawned out. See you, buddy. All I did was throw it out, let it sink to where I think the, almost the bottom is. Slow down the retrieve. Now the spawn here just finished. Let's say maybe a month ago. Maybe two weeks to a month ago. So they are hungry. And the bass are keying in on the flash of those blades. And the vibration. I can feel the vibration in the rod. There we go. Come on. I should have set the hook. Should have set the hook. 
I don't know if you guys can, but I hope you can see that grass down there. I'm through the other side of it. It looks like it's about a foot and a half below the surface. I reel a little harder when it gets to it to get it over and then drop it back down again. Cool thing is, is I can see the bait, so. We're gonna make our way back this way here and fish it backwards. Go back to that small pond again, see if everything's moved in. I caught bass out of here about a month ago and they were big. But they hadn't spawned out yet. Oh man, 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 how'd you miss that? How did you miss that? Come on now. I don't think he's gonna get fooled twice. Hmm. I'm doing my best to get it right down to the bottom without hooking the weeds. You hook the weeds way out there, you're just wasting your cast, so. Give it a little twitch now and then. Can't believe I missed that fish. I know you can't see them guys, but this pond is loaded loaded with bluegill so we might have to do a catch clean and cook soon back on this point i'm just going back the same way i came oh, there we go there we go They're getting a little better. Stuck myself in the thumb with that hook. He absolutely swallowed that spinner bait. Went to get it out and stuck it in my thumb. Hence the reason he got dropped. Well, that's four. Oh, he hit that right on the uprise there. Yeah, there we go. We're getting a little better for the quality. Come on. <coughs> Quite sure what I was choking on there. Just about to say, we're getting a little better on the quality, and then he decided he didn't want to stick around any longer, so away he went. I'm not sure if you guys can see it or not, but I can see how the bank goes out and it drops. Looks like it might drop to about four feet after two feet and so on. He hit that just at the top of that. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed that. I had a good time fishing these two ponds here. Uh, like I said, this is a beautiful spot, eh? We got uh, bass, bluegill, perch, trout, crappie, all in this pond behind me. And like I said before, that small pond over there has the crappie and the bass. And I think there's bluegill in there as well. But can't ask for a better day. Beats working. Anyway, I hope you all had a happy Canada Day. That's it. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you all in the next one. Pretty sure I already said hope you enjoyed it. It don't matter. Later.